I'm sitting here at the top of Edelweiss House and viewing the financial capital. It's truly a great feeling. Incidentally, we are also at the top of the equity market levels. And seeing new investors flock into equity mutual funds like never before is really something. But sometimes it also makes me feel very worried. Investors fell in love with mutual funds in 2017. The pursuit for higher returns has drawn most of these new investors from traditional asset classes. But higher returns at some times are accompanied by higher risk. So striking the right balance between asset classes is the need of the hour for investors. Not to mention the fact that asset class diversification is not a one-time exercise, but requires periodic monitoring and constant attention. As they say, first impressions last. A good first investing experience can work wonders for first-time investors. Since most of these investors have experienced only traditional instruments like FDs and hence are risk averse and conservative, it is important that they choose the right category of mutual funds. As Warren Buffett puts it, never test the depth of a river with both feet. In this changing world, what should be the strategy one should adopt? And where should a first time investor with low risk appetite invest? is a moot question today. The volatile stock markets are no easy bite for risk-averse investors. In such a dilemma, we think equity savings funds appear to be a worthy investment option. These funds have the potential of equity, the stability of debt, and yet the dynamism of arbitrage. The equity portion of the portfolio provides the potential for market upside and higher returns, whereas debt and arbitrage components provide investors stability to returns. The asset allocation pattern counterbalances each other and that's very powerful. For instance, if equity underperforms, the debt and arbitrage aid the portfolio returns. Thus, equity savings funds perform a nice balancing act between risk and return. Are these funds too risky for investors, you'll ask? From a risk return standpoint, Equity savings funds stand a notch above debt funds and a notch below balanced funds. They aim to provide investors better downside protection and return stability compared to pure equity funds. At Edelweiss, we think equity savings funds are a win-win for traditional investors. FD rates are at decade low levels. Small savings schemes rates have also tumbled significantly and will continue to be low given that the RBI is committed to keep inflation in check at 4%. For such investors, the first step towards equity investing must be equity savings funds. These funds have one-third exposure to equity and equal amounts into debt and arbitrage, making it a better risk-adjusted equity fund with the potential to generate better absolute returns while providing capital safety. Friends, you can see in the table how this kind of strategy would perform during different market conditions. For example, if the equity return is 10% and returns from arbitrage and fixed income are around 7%, then the portfolio return could be 8.1%. What's important to remember is when equity returns are negative, however, the investment strategy will still protect your capital. A common question on equity savings funds is what is their tax efficiency and equity savings funds are very, very tax efficient. Equity savings funds have a unique tax profile that is in line with equity taxation. I'd now like to briefly introduce you to our solution, the Edelweiss Equity Savings Advantage Fund, which is incidentally one of the first funds in the equity savings category to have come out. This fund is a fund that invests the corpus in three parts, as I said, one third in debt, one third in arbitrage, and one third in pure equity. As I said, Edelweiss Equity Savings Advantage Fund was among the first of its kind in this category. This fund endeavors, as we said, to provide a blend of safety, growth, and income to your portfolio. It aims to provide potentially better returns than debt funds for conservative investors and then traditional investments with the benefit of lower volatility and yet the tax efficiency of equity funds. We believe it's a very, very good solution for retirees, 
and investors who are looking beyond fixed deposits or taking their first step into equity investing. Friends, I'll end with a quote by Mark Twain. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. For many of you who are looking to make your first investment in equities, I urge you to consider the equity savings category and Edelweiss Equity Savings Advantage Fund. Thank you once again. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully 